Okay. Let's try this again. Just to make 100% sure that I activated the fucking hangar doors. Hey. Welcome back, folks. It is I, your illustrious host, Lord Zedek Tigradius Haduk. And as always, it is wonderful to see you all again, all for the first time, if you're just tuning in. Last time... Alright, didn't activate that. Good. So last time, we got to the part where we fought Darth Malik. The big reveal happened. I will not say what the big reveal is until we get back to the big reveal. But, oh my god, look at what happened. The game crashed. Some great frickin' Grr. And of course, because I record an MP4 format. Oops. I'm just heading towards the elevator. You. I still don't get in my way. Boys and girls, we need to hurry on to our destination of doom. Take me to the fucking hangar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not worth experience. What can I do? What? Here. Rush 
frazz of frazz of frickin' fraggin'. Have to sit through this entire goddamn conversation once again. Darth Malak. Down you go! <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I've spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. Even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? Then we have this. The Great Reveal. Who was Darth Revan? It was I. I chose the dark side long ago. Now I'm gray. You cannot hide from what you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord. And know that I have taken your place. You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi Strike Team captured you, and the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed the Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. You mean, why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy. But you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. We couldn't simply restore your true identity. Revan was too dangerous. But locked inside your mind was information the Republic needed. The secrets of the Starforge. The Council created an identity for you. A soldier under my command. Your subconscious memories were supposed to lead me to the Starforge. There was no other way to get the information. They made you their puppet, Revan. And Bastila was the handler pulling your strings. That was a risk the Council chose to take. I had to try and draw out the secrets of the Starforge. It was our only hope of stopping the Sith. There was no other choice. 
Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice as it was meant to be. Okay, folks, so the way this is going to work is that I'm going to record up to the point where we where we go into the hangar. And then I'm going to stop this recording, go on to the next one, and then I'll pair them together if it cr doesn't crash. Alright, come here. And the whirly twirly, whoop da doo doo doo. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Mother fucker. And of course, my controls are frozen. No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. Ah, of course, my controls are fucking frozen. No problem. Didn't work. All right, so not there. Yes, Malik is this week. Bring it on. I only ran for this isn't over malak your friends do not give up easily revan you always could inspire loyalty but even the three of you together cannot stand against my power for the jedi I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! Ah, ah! The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Starforge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. Uh-huh. Now that I have a secondary. Yes? Where the hell am I?
All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and cut the recording here and then restart it, and then we'll see. Yes? We'll see Ready. what happens. Okay, we're going to try this again. Oh, hey, wait a minute. They're both here this time. Incoming fighters! Yes, it works! What happened on the ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... What do you mean? She's dead? Bah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. <laughs> okay, first off, that was like the third time I've tried recording that. The problem was that I was having Karth enter the hangar instead of me. Secondly, what the fuck do you mean he would have killed us? I was kicking his ass! Could you not see the health bar? He was losing! Ugh. Can't help Bastila, not unless we find the Starforge first. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malik said, or should I? I don't care what Malik said. I'm not Darth Revan. I'm Chaos. Revan? What? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind. Programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? <sighs> Small bits, a few strange dreams and visions, that's all. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. You know, at this point I would just take Karth's gun, put it in my mouth, and be like, shoot me. Yeah, you know what? I'm not the Dark Lord anymore. I'm Chaos. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <coughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. 
How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. It was Sol Kareth who commanded the fleet that attacked your people, Karth. And it was Malak who gave the order. You know this. I have felt the presence of the dark side in you, Revan. As it is in all of us. I know the dangers of that path. Yet I also know the Fallen can be redeemed. I can tell there is conflict between light and darkness within you. I do not know which way the struggle will turn, but I will not abandon you in this difficult time, as you did not abandon me. What do you have to say, HK? Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Why? What's happening? Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. So this is... <laughs> Everyone be careful. There's no telling what this means. So this is a stimuli you were waiting for. Explanation. I believe so, Master. I was unaware of my homing system until it had been activated. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. You mean Revan? Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to you, and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Not exactly revenant anymore, HK. Observation. That does not matter, Master. I am your droid, regardless of your actions or personality. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an <laughs> eyelash. Good point. <laughs> Kandaris? You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. You won't abandon me, will you, T3? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. What about you, Jolie? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. Well, Koth, will you stand with me against Ma Malik? Well, the others seem to trust you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malik is the real enemy here, I really don't have any other choice, do I? I'm not revving anymore, Koth. You have to believe that. I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. I wish there were... Uh... How do you think I feel? This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're going to find that Star Forge and save Basila. So let's do it before it's too late. Karth, please tell me you saw that. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Commentary. That is unnecessary now, Master. I have been returned to you and my memory core is now fully functional. Statement. My functionality has now been fully restored, Master. I exist to serve Revan as your personal battle droid. 
In time, my assassination protocol can be restored, and at that point I will once again endeavor to eliminate any meatbag opposition you may have. Statement. You don't have to call me Master, you know. Commentary. Of course I do, Master. You are Revan. You are my Master. The one who created me. I exist to serve. Yeah, what do you want? Tell me more about the Mandalorian Wars. We fought against the Republic forces for some time, over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once you had taken charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. You were a genius on the field. You are held in very high regard among my people. You abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others could be too fortified to strike. You made sacrifices in order to advance your goals. Such strategies had never been enough to best us before. In the end, you proved too much for us. If I had not stopped you, someone else would have. There was no one else. The entire Republic had committed its forces behind you. The Sith had retreated back to their empire, and there were none else strong enough to challenge us. It looked like the entire galaxy was within our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. But you eventually lost. Yeah, we lost. But there is no shame in it. We lost to the greatest single warrior the Republic has ever known. It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, you, that the Republic prevailed. Your strategies and tactics defeated the best we could send against you. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of your attacks, the tenacity of your defenses, and the subtleties of your plans. You fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Why didn't you retreat? It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And you won. I hold no grudge against you, nor do any of my people. It was the greatest of honors to fight against you, even in defeat. It is even more of an honor to fight beside you now. Had you been born of the Mandalorian clans, surely nothing in this galaxy would have been able to stop us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else? You're... Ah, oh boy. Yeah, it won't let us travel to Dantooine anymore. Really has been destroyed. Kukuno no ba mulira tikun. You mean Malik? Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Who are you? Takum just tak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda. You're with the exchange. Ke puna bunanai chatu chinba mulera. Chi gratu loda bograshi onion compa chintomo mutuba. Loda dita kun 
itapatisa batua kachatu tonga. Runda di hotonga kun hunkabi. Wanna kun bez che. Get to the point. Tag biz tu bunko kuki mak panka. Ching palachiska mule tuna kuyami juz chikata na patoga ya fulki koko la jiji. Go on. Manaman atota. Haki jukrata bola shui chungatong. Chungkung no bunka tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chut. Ka chikun ita haldonga. Ye king kuno bamul. How does this involve you? Tong abog sha umni nong. Wonga kum beast. Kabo dumpa ku palia muka pata. Bunana chaku iku. Tolpa da bongwale gandu nangugu chut chut. Kaba dum ku pilio. I'll check it out next time I'm on Korriban. We tam boragatong mulira ashong tong abog sha umni nong. I smell a trap, a trap. I smell a trap, and this one is not Douglas. All right, let's get this crap over to your brother. You. You're back! I knew you'd come through for me. I knew I could count on you. Uh... Here you go, take it. Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Teresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I, I've turned over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Theresian Ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. <sighs> Here you are. Wise move. I can see you really understand how business works. Now, when you see your chance, you jump at it. I better get started on brewing that ale. Meet me back here later, and I'll have a down payment. Get him, HK. Don't. Don't jump on me. Hey there. What? Just wanted to talk about me being... Well, first, let's talk about your brother. I appreciate everything you've done for Griff. You know that, right? I just hope things work out for him this time around. I guess we'll find out when he meets up with us at the Zerka Corp shop. If he's got those credits he promised you, then maybe there's hope for him yet. Hey there. What? It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? So it doesn't bother you at all? I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Okay, so... Do I just leave and go back in, or... Fuck, I can't... <laughs> oh man, I can't do... I can't do the other quests. The ones that start on Dantooine, I can't do anymore. Because Dantooine is dead. Fuck.
All right, let's go to Gavin. Incoming fighters. Come here, you come here. Motherfucker. All right, then. Mama, we got a lot to sell. It doesn't look like you have anything worth taking from me. So I'm just going to take my credits and leave.
I mean, why not? The my credits? Then let's walk into a trap, shall we? Incoming fighters! That was the best I've ever done on that. Take all of those plasma grenades. Thank you. Greetings. If you haven't heard, there's some trouble. Uh, you certainly guy. can. You have nothing I'm interested in. Let's go ahead and see a little Rodian about a trap. I mean, a <laughs> special things. Kakin <laughs> Chan. Okay, so I'm not looking for you. Zikum says you sell special items. I'm glad you seen the light. 
tingguin ko ka tong hit wana ji sa kat Okay, let's see what you got. Tingguin ko ka king ba ni chalora kun diska do soki ko pa bon Let me see your premium. Well, hello. And he has the Mantle of the Force, as well as Heart of the Guardian. My crystals are perfect as they are. I already have this. Wow. Um. It was me. Why? Kakin cha na wabagaon. Picha ge borang turang. Nada atchua penki. Yun patisa. I can look after myself. Uba baska dwana chichopa muska chiwa eita kang ki ji yokaku. Just in case, we're buying the Revan stuff. Zabar, stop laugh. Stop laughing. I mean, it won't let me wear the Doth Revens because, yeah, dark side. But my wisdom is through the roof. Yes? <sighs> Tell the truth, Koth. I've gone to hell, haven't I? All right, folks, so I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode there for today. You all have a wonderful evening, and as always, I've been your illustrious host, Lord Zedek Tigradius Haruk. And remember, I love you all. Good night.